Have you ever experienced a situation where you needed first aid immediately? Examples might include hiking in the woods and getting many cuts and scrapes from this, or falling off of a bike. The amount of examples are numerous. I experienced the need for first aid whenever I fell off my bike and got many cuts and scrapes from this. A first aid kit would have been very beneficial here instead of having to look for all the supplies separately. I will show you all the necessary steps to put together a first aid kit in the next few moments. I will also discuss the materials that are needed for the first aid kit and how these materials can be used and applied. First of all, starting with materials. These are all of the materials that I will be using for my first aid kit. Some are common, some may be a little less common. These materials include a blanket, a flashlight, bandages, a water bottle, a snack bar, various medications, antiseptic ointments, ice pack, and a first aid manual. All these materials will be going to that shoe box. This kit will be a general everyday kit that will have a variety of purposes. Secondly, to talk about the uses of the kit. Water. This is a very important part of everyday living something that we take for granted. But say for example that you're doing a very strenuous activity. It's very engaging and requires a lot of energy and afterwards you feel very dehydrated and very weak. This will help give you some energy back restoring your body. A flashlight the power might have went out in your house. It's pitch black, you can't see a thing. This will help you see until the power comes back on. Snack foods. You might be with somebody that's diabetic. They are, they are feeling very lethargic with the loss of energy. This will help them get some of their energy back until they can get the necessary medical attention. Compress. You might have fallen or be with somebody that has fallen down. Your ankle is an excruciating pain. This will help ease the pain until you get help. A blanket. You might be driving one day and your car breaks down. You are on the side of the road and it is frigid outside below zero temperatures. You have to wait there until the help arrives. This will help keep you warm until that help does come. Antiseptic ointments. Going back to the situation that I described earlier, whenever I fell off my bike, this will help protect wounds, cuts, scrapes, and bruises from germs. And it will help start the heating process. This is important for all of these things. Going along with that, bandages of various sizes and shapes. They will help cover the cuts, scrapes, bruises from the outside environment. Various medications are also important for the first aid kit. And this is because you never know what you will face. For example, say you are with someone and they are feeling sick. Having medication to help ease that sickness is a very important part of this kit. Also, having medications such as Benadryl and pain reliever are also important for the kit. Now, lastly, a first aid manual. This is important because you never know what you will face. For example, say you are with an unfamiliar situation and you don't know what to do. This will give you the knowledge, skills, and abilities you need to address that situation correctly. All these things have different uses and they can be applied to many different situations. Regardless, whether it's something as small as a paper cut or maybe something that's enormously big. Regardless, you will be able to use this kit every single day. As you have just heard, a first aid kit is composed of many different materials and each of these materials has a beneficial use. 
most people have probably experienced the need for first aid at some point in their life. I hope this speech will help you become better prepared in any situation that you face. Thank you.